guys! Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I paint my Asari headpieces. I'm going to go over what products I use and how I use them and hopefully show you how you can end up with a fully painted headpiece. So let's get started. So to start we need to patch our headpiece. With foam latex I prefer to start with the air bubbles. To patch these air bubbles, I use a thing called Cabo Patch, which is a no tack prosade mixed with Cabo Seal to make a paste. I'll take that paste on a tiny spatula and I'll spackle it into every air bubble that I find on the headpiece. Another step we need to do before we start painting is to trim the seams on the headpiece. You'll find these seams on any headpiece that has come out of a mold, so even if it's just a latex headpiece it will still have seams that you'll need to trim. For this I just take a pair of cuticle scissors and I carefully cut away the excess. In foam latex you often get these little air bubble pockets but they're really easy to remove just with a pair of tweezers. If you are just using a latex headpiece, you want to be mindful not to cut those things back too far because you will cause a hole to form. However, you can fix those holes with latex or cover patch. Once I trim the seams, I like to go in with my cover patch and fill them in so that there's a nice smooth transition between the headpiece and the seam line. Patching and trimming your headpiece can be one of the most time consuming things in the entire process so it's important just to take your time and not get impatient and do it properly the first time because it will look amazing by the end. Sometimes you get to this point and it will look like you haven't done anything at all, but trust me, once the paint goes on, it's going to make a world of difference. Once we've finished with the repair job, it's time to move on to paint. On foam latex appliances, it's always important to seal your headpiece, so I've got a paint here that I've mixed half and half with acrylic paint and prosade no tack. The no tack prosade is important because otherwise later on you'll find yourself sticking to your own headpiece and with foam latex you can often destroy your headpiece that way by accident. You may want to do this step for a latex headpiece just to get a good solid base. Once we get our base on we go in with our body paint. Here I'm using a Ben Nye water activated paint which I'm going to mix with Liquiset. I find that using a product like Liquiset makes the paint go on better and it increases the longevity of the paint. You're just going to cover your entire headpiece in your body paint that you're going to be wearing on the day. I'll usually go in with a second layer just to increase that opacity of the paint. Once the base is on, I move on to shading. For this I like to just use an acrylic paint, I'll take a black and a blue, mix them together and start putting them into the deepest points of the headpiece. I'll go back and forth between putting in the shading colour and coming back in with the body paint colour just to really blend it out. If you have an airbrush you may prefer to do these steps with an airbrush to get a really flawless gradient but I prefer acrylics because I can do this anywhere, I don't need a booth, and I just find it to be a cheaper method. There's really no exact science to this, it's kind of just in your eye. You put the darker points in the parts that you want to recede and the lighter points in the parts that you want to come out. I like to go in with a very tiny brush to get the details out just to give it that oomph. This part can be quite time consuming as well, but you'll start noticing the difference right away. 
Once you've finished with the underlying base job, you can start going in with your patterns and your markings. Liara has these lines throughout her little tentacles, so I just use the black and then really blend it out with the blue. I'll also go in at this point and really highlight all the sections that I want to pop. So Liara has some silver markings across her tentacles and on her forehead, so I'm going to be using this silver body paint to really bring out those elements. These little extra details really help sell the character. Again, this isn't an exact science, I'm just taking some silver on a pointy brush and going through the entire headpiece and dotting it around. Once I'm happy with all the detailing, I go in with some green marble and I just seal the whole headpiece. And here we are, a completed, painted Asari headpiece. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and of course if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks again to Chiara Bartoli Sculpt and Effects for the original headpiece. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! By the goddess, that was incredible, Shepard.